How was the bye week for you? Uh, awesome. Uh, much needed rest and recovery, you know, recharge the, the body, recharge the, the mind and soul a little bit. And uh, But it's good to be back. Good to see everybody. Get back in the facility today and uh, get a good Monday practice under the belt. Jake, being a kid from Norman, growing up in the state, what does this game mean to you to play? Uh, everything. Uh, I'm just like, I feel like I'm already getting butterflies about it. And, uh, you know, growing up here, being a Sooner fan, it's, you know what this means to everyone in the state of Oklahoma and, and in the state of Texas. I mean, it's a big deal to a lot of people. And to have the opportunity to compete in it, I, I'm I'm over the moon. I'm, I can't wait. It's going to be a, a great opportunity and a great challenge. The last couple of years you've been elsewhere. Have you been able to actually like, keep up with the game at all? Or you've been so yeah. sucked into... Uh, I mean, obviously, I think two years ago we played a night game, so we were. I, I remember watching a little bit, uh, and then I can't remember where I was last year. We might have been playing at the same time, but uh, I always keep up with it. You know, I'm checking scores from all the games, but on OU Texas weekend, you know that I'm I'm definitely checking that one to see what's going on. Uh, uh, as an Oklahoma guy, so to get to play in it, and I'm just excited to get out into the Cotton Bowl and you know see it split down the middle. It's going to be awesome. So. Any any memories stick out to you in terms of watching the game when you were when you were growing up? Uh, yeah, I remember me and my dad. We went to. I've only been to to one OU Texas, and I think it was. I think we were talking about it last night. I think it was 2010, maybe it was 20 28 20. Uh, I just remember, like, I remember vividly seeing Coach Murray out there, like, when when he was playing. And, and uh, I remember Landry Jones was out there. Uh, I just there, – there's there's a lot of memories just watching it at home, too. So, uh, you know, like, Kennedy Brooks running it in in recent memory, Caleb Williams going in and – coming back that that was while I was in college and but I was still you watching that from afar it's like wow you just good for OU man I mean deep down I, I want them to win every time so now being a part of it I mean I'm all in is the key to a game like this just to kind of embrace how big of a game it is or do you try and put that away when you're on the field yeah I mean you obviously want to embrace it uh to a certain point and uh, you know, it's a high emotion game, but we talk about not letting like emotions hijack, uh, you know, the the moment from us. Like emotions are good if you use them in the right way. And I mean, obviously, it's a big game for both sides, and a lot is on the line for both of us. But at the same time, there's an aspect of kind of treating it like any other game and just staying focused on our weekly preparation. You don't have to do anything special. Just you know, have the respect for your opponent and for what it takes to be ready to go on Saturday. You looking forward to the to the bus ride and getting off the bus at the fair? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm like I said, I've never experienced it as a player, so uh, getting to get off at the fair and stuff, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. Just you know, but I'm I guess, I'm guessing they bus right in there, and there's probably a bunch of people, so uh, it's gonna be bumping down there. I know for sure. On the practice field, how did things go for the offense this past week? Uh, it was good. Uh, you know, the bye week gives you an op- opportunity to, you know, one, start getting a little early preparation on your opponent. And then also there's an aspect of, like, the self-scouting and, uh, you know, like the inward focus on, you know, let's how can we use this week to get better? So I think we were able to do that last week. Um, you know, there's a balance between, you know, getting on the practice field and getting your good work in focusing on your fundamentals and what you need to improve on and then also making sure you hit like the off the field stuff right like you know film study and then getting your body right and I think we maximized it last week so feeling good today how has Michael Hopkins embraced this last couple of weeks of the transition getting started on that stuff I mean he's handled it with you know first class mentality you know Mike's a soft-spoken guy uh you know not a lot has changed with his approach uh, he's the same guy every day, and he's showing up, and he's doing great work. So I think he's really embraced it, and uh, you know, stepping into a, a little more vocal leadership role. I think he's doing a great job, and like I said, kind of preparing like like any other week. And uh, you know, he's just being himself. The Texas defense hasn't allowed anybody to score more than one touchdown on them this year. What do you guys got to do against you know that that group? Yeah, I mean, obviously they're great on defense. They play really sound. 
Uh, you know, they obviously are really confident in their scheme and they know what they're doing. Uh, for us, it's just going to be focusing on execution, uh, you know, making the plays that come to us, protecting the football, uh, you know, stuff that's going to help you win every game, you know, making sure, you know, turnover margin, protecting the football, make the layups. Uh, you know, it's not going to take anything otherworldly, but also we have to take advantage of the opportunities that we have uh, when they come to us against a good defense. You can't really make a ton of mistakes and expect to, uh, to win against a good defense. Not very many true freshmen start at quarterback in this rivalry game. I mean, is that kind of crazy for Mike? And, you know, do you feel like he's, you know, staying calm this week and everything? Yeah, like I said, I mean, I think Mike's handling it just like any other week. And uh, I really, his preparation has, you know, stayed the same from when he was in that backup role to, you know, stepping into the starting role. So, uh, I mean, if he's nervous, I can't tell. And, uh, you know, Mike's a, just a cool cat. He's, he's just doing his thing. And, uh, I mean, he's he looks great. Physicality is a big talking point mm-hmm. in this game. How has playing Tennessee's front, Auburn's front, help you guys kind of prepare for that? Yeah, uh, I mean – yeah, they got a great front, and it's going to take a lot of physicality, and that's something that we've emphasized in past weeks. Uh, you know, getting to have some SEC games under our belt helps a lot. It's, uh, I mean, playing Tennessee and Auburn, great fronts, physical defenses, and uh, I think that's, I mean, it's given us a, a good look at what to expect. So I think we'll be ready, but we also know you can't, just say since we've played a physical defense you know we still have to make the decision to show up and and bring the physicality